Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to go through a structural simulation of an assembly. Let's get started. When you launch Discovery for the first time, you'll see this welcome screen. If this is the first time you're using Discovery, I strongly suggest you go through the videos and other information contained in the welcome screen to get familiar with the user interface uh, of this tool. If you do not want to see the welcome screen the next time you launch Discovery, click here. Otherwise, click on the X to show the home page. Now, in the home page, click on Browse and Open Geometry File. Browse to the appropriate folder, select the geometry you want to open, and click there to import that geometry file. OK, this is the geometry we're going to use for this tutorial. You can see it's a generic uh, suspension, maybe a suspension that might be in one of those uh, Baja race trucks. OK. Now, in this particular simulation, we want to study the entire assembly, including contacts and joints between the various parts. Uh, to do this, switch to Analyze Mode. Analyze Mode contains certain features uh, that allow you to do this type of simulation. And I'll go over these in more detail as we go along this tutorial. OK. Now, uh, in this particular tutorial, you'll notice we have some bolts. And for this tutorial, we're not going to use these bolts that are holding these parts together. We're going to represent them by joints instead. So to remove the bolt from the simulation, just select a face on that bolt, right click, and uh, remove from physics. Okay. Now, you'll notice on the geometry tree on the left, you'll notice this particular bolt um, has an icon which indicates that it has been removed from physics. You can also use the icon in the tree to hide that bolt. Okay, So you can do this either from the tree or using the right-click menu, as I showed you. So let's use the right-click menu again. So I'm going to select this uh, bolt down here, right-click, and say Remove from Physics. And you can see that's been updated right here. And I'm also going to hide. And I'm going to do the same for these uh, three other bolts. But I'm going to do it from the tree. So I'm going to click here to remove those from physics. And then I'm also going to remove them or hide them from view. OK, so that's just an easy way for you to uh, select which parts of the geometry will participate in the simulation. OK, let's go ahead and apply a few supports. So uh, click here, activate the halo, and let's go to the support tool. You'll notice by default, it's a fixed support. But click here to expose the other types of support and choose Hinged. And then click on the check mark. Okay. Now do the same for the other four um, locations in this assembly. You'll notice that the Heads Up Display tool stays on Hinged support. So it's easy for me to apply multiple uh, physics inputs of the same type. OK, we're done with the hinge supports. And you'll notice on the tree on the left, uh, the hinge supports show up. And they've been automatically grouped together. So you can kind of collapse them and you know save some real estate um, in the tree if you want. All right, now let's apply a force. So let's click on this, these two faces, activate the halo, and let's go to the force tool. Now, you'll notice the halo, uh, the HUD, sorry, is red, meaning it requires you to provide some input. So let's apply a uh, force of 2,000 newtons. Now, uh, you notice the moment I hit enter, the HUD turns green, meaning that it has accepted the input and it's ready to move on. But we want to do a couple of things. You'll notice the blue arrow uh, showing you the default direction of that force. And that's based on the geometry selection. Now, we want to specify a different direction. And an easy way to do that is to click these double chevrons on the right side of the HUD and expose some additional options. So what we'll do here is let's change the Y force to plus 2,000. You'll notice it was minus 2,000. And then let's also apply a 1,000 Newton um, force in the X direction. So uh, if I rotate my model slightly, you'll see that the arrow reflects the updated direction definition. OK, when we're done, hit Escape two times to dismiss the HUD. OK, a uh, couple of other things we want to do. Um, we want to constrain uh, this lower A arm 
in these four locations. And we're going to pretend in this scenario that the race truck suspension has bottomed out and that those locations are held in, um, in a fixed position. Okay. So um, I want to show you a different way to apply inputs. So I previously used the halo to access the physics inputs, but you can also do the same thing from the ribbon by clicking here and clicking support. You'll notice that it's hinged again, but you know, just make sure and just click check mark. So we want to apply a fifth hinge support in that area. And let's hit escape two times. Okay. So uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to define the connections between the A arm and the upright. Okay. And we're going to represent these as joints. Okay. So let's do this one first. So first rotate it like this, select that inner surface on the upright and then choose the joint tool. Okay. Now to select the faces uh, that correspond to this joint on the other body, click here, which allows you to select secondary faces and then click this and then hold control and click here. So you should have a selection which looks like this. And if you have that, click the check mark. Okay. Hit escape once to exit that tool. And then let's zoom in and do the same for the bottom. So here we're going to select this face and control select this face. Those are going to be the primary faces. Click here to select secondary faces. And we're going to click this one and control select this one. So it should look like this and we want to change this to a hinged joint okay and click a check mark and hit escape two times now you'll notice i actually made a mistake if i look on my tree the first joint which i specified is actually a fixed joint um, so i can fix that by double clicking to launch the hud and you'll see the location where i applied those joints the location is fine but instead of fixed i want to make it hinged so you can see it's quite easy to change the type of input once you've already done it. You don't have to delete it and redo it. Okay. Hit escape two times to dismiss the HUD. Okay. Now these are the main um, inputs uh, that we have for this um, uh, assembly, but there's one other thing we got to do, and that is define the contacts between these bodies. Now in analyze mode, you'll notice that default bonded contacts have already been specified between these various bodies okay and if you double click on the default contacts it launches this hud which allows you to visually inspect the different contacts between the various bodies and either keep them as the default bonded or change them to something else okay so there's a very unique filtering mechanism that i'd like to show you so first of all make sure you have the primary body filter Select it up here, and then let's select this upper A arm. Then let's select the secondary body filter and click on the upright. And what this shows you are the contacts between these two bodies. If you look at the top right corner of the HUD, you'll notice that it has identified one contact pair. And I can click on this little marker to highlight the faces which are participating in that contact. It looks good to me. And then I can choose to leave these as bonded or I can convert them to sliding or a joint or bonded. Or in this case, I want to exclude from contact detection. So basically, I don't want any loads to be transferred between those two faces. Okay, I want all the loads to be transferred through that joint uh, between those two bodies. So just click on this icon and that will get converted to what we call a prevented contact. So let's do the same thing for these other two bodies. So once again, let's choose the primary uh, body filter. Let's pick the upright. Let's choose the secondary body filter. Let's pick the lower A arm. Okay, you'll notice up on the top right corner of the HUD, it says that one contact pair has been detected. And if you zoom in, you can click on this marker to kind of highlight the faces in, in pink and light blue. Those look good. And we're going to turn, uh, we're going to exclude this from contact or turn those into prevented contacts as well. Okay. 
And then finally, if I go back to the primary uh, body filter and click on the upright, you, uh, uh, you'll notice that there's only one contact pair left and it's this contact. It's the bonded contact between the hub and the upright. So in this case, uh, we're going to you know, keep this as bonded. So we can either do nothing or we can click here to convert this to permanently bonded. So we're explicitly saying that those are bonded. OK, so there we are. And to review the contacts that we have set up, you can see that they show up in the contact section of the tree. So um, you know the first one is the prevented contact between those two bodies the prevented contact between the upright and the lower A-arm, and finally the bonded contact between the hub and the upright. And once again, just hit escape two times to dismiss the heads up display. Okay, so we're all set to solve. Um, so we'll stop part one of this video. Please go to part two of this video tutorial for the next steps.